Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And sometimes I think I'm living in the twilight zone. This week I've had three different people email me or uh, leave me a message on my YouTube channel about flames. One of them uh, was about wrapping flames around a flashlight. And I steered them to another video. And then just today, just this afternoon, I had two different people ask about flames in a font. One of them, I haven't got a, an answer back 100% what they wanted to do, but this person emailed me and said they found a flame font on DA fonts, but the only word that types out with the flames on the inside are the, is the word flame. Um, let's just type out something and I'll just show you uh, A, B, C, and then we'll do capital A, B, C, and we'll turn it to the flame font that I just downloaded from, uh, and this is what you get. And as you can see, the A is there for their flame, but all the rest of them are just uh, flames in all different shapes and sizes and directions. And they were kind of disappointed. They wanted the word hot. And they couldn't type it out. So this is very easily done with any text. So just go up and left click, no fill, right click, outline. And this is very important to do. Go up to object and convert that to a curve. Take this, which is a text. Go up to object and convert it to a curve. It will not work if it's if you do not do that when you place inside container. So we need to make it a little bit bigger. So I'm going to go control D and I'm going to hold down the control button and I'm going to angle it over. And now you've got a little bit wider, little thicker font or thicker flame. I'm going to control G and group that together. I'm going to there are several ways you could do this. I don't like the substantial amount of uh, black below. So this is very easily done with the... Oh, I'm using a new laptop and a new computer and a new... Uh, and I don't have all my keys are in the same spot. But just draw you a line and then use your virtual segment delete key to delete this ex excessive amount of line. And you don't even have to do this because we're going to probably smart fill this. And then go to your smart fill tool and fill that in with black. And then pick all this and take away the outline. Now this is still a curve. And I'm not making sure we better group it together. And now it should work right here. We maybe make it a little bit wider again. And just go up to a uh, object, power clip, place inside frame. And there you have it. Now I would always want to, I always draw everything in hairline. So you want to take your outline, double click on it and make it a little bit uh, wider black outline and there you go and this is impact I don't know what font they're going to use uh, you might want something with a little bit different and you could use any font I like to use impact sometimes to show off stuff because it it really does uh, it's got a good thick font but it's you know, she was really disappointed that the only word she could use in her font was flame which is kind of ironic, but I uh, guess they did that on purpose. But anyway, I hope that helps her a little bit, and thank you for watching.